Hi, I'm Mark Kelly, Commander of Space Shuttle Endeavor. My first of four space flights was as Endeavor's pilot on STS-108 in December 2001. This is Endeavor's last flight, and certainly my last shuttle flight as well. We left the station with new spare parts, supplies, and an advanced scientific instrument called the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer. AMS is already at work gathering information that could improve our understanding of the universe. The $2 billion instrument weighs 15,000 pounds and involved a collaboration with more than 600 scientists and engineers from 60 institutions in 16 countries. This cooperation illustrates a legacy of endeavor, the space shuttle and the space station, the international collaboration that exploration and utilization of space has become. Endeavor is a proud name, born by a number of ships. Few were less racy but more able than explorer James Cook's Endeavor. The Endeavor Cook used on his first voyage of exploration was built to haul coal like those on which Cook had served as a merchant marine officer. It was blunt bowed, slow yet reliable, strong and able to take a lot of punishment. It would survive grounding on Australia's Great Barrier Reef that would have sunk most ships of its day. In some ways, it reminds us of our own endeavor. Our mission is returning from the International Space Station after Endeavour's 12th visit to the orbiting laboratory. There, people from many nations have served continuously in successive crews since November of 2000, teaching and learning from one another about interactions and about how best to do things in this harsh environment. Endeavour flew the first space station assembly mission, STS-88. The first Japanese component of the space station was taken by Endeavour to the station in March 2008. It also delivered Node 3, Tranquility and the Cupola, the robotic workstation with six windows, to the ISS in February of 2010. A spacecraft that was partly a collection of spare parts, Endeavour also features advanced new hardware that helped improve safety and performance of other orbiters when it was later incorporated into them. Endeavour OV-105, authorized by Congress in August 1987 as a replacement for Challenger, was named through a national competition of elementary and secondary school students. Endeavour was delivered to the Kennedy Space Center on May 7, 1991 and launched first into space on May 7, 1992. Endeavour's STS-118 launch on August 8, 2007 was its first in four years after a lengthy modernization following the loss of Space Shuttle Columbia. This flight was commanded by my brother Scott Kelly. When we launched on STS-134, Endeavour already had traveled almost 116.4 million miles in space on 24 previous flights. It had spent 283 days in space and orbited the Earth 4,423 times. We are adding significantly to that total. It has taken 133 individuals into space, some of them more than once. Astronauts are just the tip of a very large iceberg. Behind us are thousands of people, civil servants, contractors, suppliers. They're dedicated, hard-working folks who believe deeply in what we do. They train us to do our jobs. They build, repair, and maintain our spacecraft and their equipment. They manage our missions, launch us, and control our flights. They support us in many, many ways. We believe deeply in them, enough to trust them with our lives. We've talked a lot about Endeavour, the space shuttle in the past. Now that we've looked back, let's take a moment to look ahead. The retirement of Endeavour and the shuttle fleet will not end the human need to explore. It is, and always will be, part of who we are. The United States will build other spaceships, better than those of today. Even if they are years in the future, they will nevertheless increase our knowledge of the world, generate an enormous benefit to our economy, and inspire our children. We can't know when they will come about or what they will be, but perhaps one of those new vehicles of exploration will be named Endeavour, and maybe it will take humans to other planets or even more distant worlds circling other stars. It could bear a no prouder or more fitting name.
Uh, here, uh, we had just departed from the International Space Station. Uh, we're sitting here in Endeavour's airlock, and uh, we've got two of our spacesuits here that we used uh, for the work that we did during our 16-day uh, mission. And we're happy to be part of Endeavour's legacy and round out the uh, final spacewalks of the space shuttle era. Endeavour started off with some spectacular spacewalks on its maiden voyage, and it ended with uh, our four spacewalks. And we hope that the tools, the techniques that uh, we've learned over the years, especially here with Endeavour, is, uh, will be applicable for all the spacewalks that we're going to be doing on asteroids, Moon, and Mars. It has been an honor for me to be a part of the STS-134 space flight with uh, my crew on the last uh, shuttle flight of the of Endeavour. It's also uh, the end uh, of the assembly of the International Space Station and uh, it has been extremely uh, rewarding for me to see that uh, our presence as European Space Agency and as Europe is strong. Columbus, EMM, uh, no three cupola and uh, many other components are coming from uh, ESA and from Europe. We are coming back on board of Endeavour to make final landing and that will be the last landing of uh, this incredible machine. I do not believe this is the end uh, of uh, uh, flights similar to the one that I have experienced. I truly believe that uh, the legacy will, legacy will continue and uh, everything that we have learned from all the shuttles, including Endeavour, would be the base of uh, the transportation of future generation. But what does Endeavour mean to me? What am I thinking about Endeavour on the, on the uh, night here before landing? Um, Endeavour is a very special ship to me. Uh, a couple years ago I was on the station for six months and uh, was dropped off by Discovery and I uh, never saw another vehicle uh, of this size. I saw a lot of traffic up there with Progress and, and Soyuz and an ATV uh, come and go. But um, uh, after six months on the space station, I was uh, had a wonderful time and uh, the mission went really well and it was, come, it was time to come home and my ride home was going to be Endeavour. And I'll never forget the moment that that Endeavour pulled into formation right below the space station. We were over in the service module taking pictures of Endeavour, and this massive spaceship came up. You know, after six months of seeing nothing like that, and flew into formation with with the space station. It was just a beautiful, beautiful, unbelievable sight. You know, the other night I was looking at the whole space station from the cupola late at night, and I saw Endeavour, you know, lit up. Um, but over the earth, you know, at night, and I took some, some, some pictures with a, with a star background. It's just a beautiful spaceship, and it really belongs here. It's just, when you see it attached to the space station, it just really looks like it belongs here. It belongs in space. And uh, so, um, you know, it's, it, it is a little bit uh, hard to see, you know, a spaceship like this being retired. Uh, we know that you know more is going to come in the future, and the and the future is going to be very exciting. But I think the legacy for Endeavour is exactly what it was doing here on the space station. It, Endeavour's life bookends the space station assembly. It, it, you know, the first flight that was here to assemble part of the space station was Endeavour, and now here on the last flight, she was here for the final assembly, and the space station is complete. And although Endeavour is retiring, it's a new beginning. And the space station now is, is a place where we're going to do the research and, and, and practice with the new systems and life support and, and uh, everything we need to do to be able to explore further and, and to conduct science up here that will take us further. So the space station is our new foothold in the future, and that's a big legacy that Endeavour has, as, as well as the whole space shuttle program. And uh, so this is what I think about as we come to land Endeavour tomorrow. When I first became an astronaut uh, over a decade ago, one of my very first jobs was to uh, go to the Cape and prepare the space shuttles for launch and landing. And so we spent a lot of time in all the different orbiters in Discovery, Atlantis, and Columbia. But Endeavour was always my favorite. And I think Endeavour was my favorite because it was the newest of the orbiters smelled a lot more like a new car than some of the other uh, more seasoned orbiters. Getting this second flight in Endeavour and being on her final flight 
is amazing to me. Um, this 25th flight of Endeavour, one of the more significant missions I would claim in the assembly of the space station, partly because we brought up the AMS, the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, which is an amazing uh, scientific experiment that will help scientists better understand our universe. But also, it was uh, the 25th flight of Endeavour and the final flight of Endeavour. And so being on this mission was a great honor and privilege to me. If you ask me what I think Endeavour's legacy would be, I'd have to say, well, first being a part of the mainstay, the workhorse of the space program, uh, the space shuttle for the last 30 years, Endeavour was a big part of that. But also Endeavour had the unique distinction of bringing up the very first piece of the International Space Station, and then by installing the uh, orbiter boom uh, system on top for use uh, for the station's arm to extend its robotic arm, the uh, Endeavour brought up the last piece of the space station as well. So uh, I think Endeavour's legacy would be that she was a very important part of the assembly of the space station from beginning to end, and also to me personally because I had my first date on Endeavour and I'm having my last date with Endeavour.